All right, you guys, good morning. Uh, this is our, what, our 12th week of live online. Uh, we're going to get after it a little bit today. Um, and actually this week we'll have the unilateral or bilateral motion, right? We'll have the purposeful load and weight distribution exercises. Um, and of course, in the last couple weeks, I've been like, hey, mix up your hands as you want. Uh, again, today is very much follow suit. You guys all know me. When we strength train, of course, it's repetitive and it might feel redundant, but uh, the muscle uh, likes it, right? You hit it, you let it rest, you hit it, let it rest. We have our warm-up routine that we're going to do. We have our seven-set warm-up that we'll do twice, the mobility warm-up. Um, and then we're going to have our right side pulling. We'll combo with a simple push. And then we have a squat routine that we'll do twice today. And, of course, we have a left side pulling circuit uh, simple push. So, uh, again, I want you to always think about your load. When you see me, think about your weights that you can use. When you're ready, we have our tens on our warm up. We're gonna do our stationary reverse lunge, our stiff legged deadlift, the stationary forward, the lateral lunge, the scissors runner swimmers, blah, blah, blah. I know you're ready to work. Ready? 10 stationary reverse lunges. Here we go. The front leg, as you know, is always the working leg. The leg that stayed in front is the working leg. It is pulling you up, right? And I actually want that rhythm in your head. I talked about it last week. I want that leg to pull you up, not necessarily forward. And that way you think about your front leg pulling you. When you get done, you've got your alternating stiff-legged deadlifts. Again, another pulling exercise. Both have a balance component. The stiff legs have a little bit more of a balance component. 10 total alternating reps. We've done this routine several times. Doesn't take very long, so don't do them quickly. That's a bad one. Big, 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 big. And of course, there's no rush. We have our stationary forward lunge. This is the first push on the leg. 10 total stationary forward lunges. You push yourself back. I don't want you to think up on this one. Push yourself back. 10 total alternating stationary forward lunges. Push yourself back. Let's shake it off. You have your 10 total alternating lateral lunges. This stepping leg is the working leg. You load it and you push. You load it and you push. I want you to load. I didn't say go low. It's kind of part of the equation, but you load and push. Please don't purposely try to stretch the non-moving leg because then you're gonna actually pull yourself up with that non-moving leg. I want you to push yourself back with that moving leg. We're gonna be on the ground for our scissors, runners, and swimmers. Again, we have done these things before. Do them slowly. 10 slow scissors, 10 slow runners, and 10 slow swimmers. Ready, set, go. Remember, all these exercises are meant to loosen you up, get your joints moving. There's a little lubrication in your joints when they move. They get all lubricated. And then the tendons and the muscles get stretched and contracted. And of course, without the loads, we're not too worried. 10 scissors, 10 slow runners. You have the torque. Now you've got mobility. Both have activation. Take your time. And breathe. When you get done, you're either on your hands and knees for prone swimmers, or you can lay on your stomach for prone swimmers. Round one, I'm gonna do hands and knees, I'm on my fours. Don't just lift, I want you to reach. Upper back, middle back, lower back, glutes, maybe some hamstrings, maybe some shoulders and triceps if you're really reaching. Mobility of joints, activation of muscles. Shake it off. 
We have one more round to go, right? It's Monday morning. I know you guys sat around. You had your legs up, watched movies all week long, right? Sat around, ate bonbons, right? No. Okay, we need to loosen things up. We had a big day. Ready? Ten stationary reverse lunges. Here you go. You won't do them again today. Today we have our squats with our weight distribution on our legs. You'll see. Not your first time. 10 total stationary reverse lunges is only five each leg and you are pulling yourself up. Then you have your 10 total alternating stiff legged deadlifts. Remember there is no such thing as a straight legged deadlift. So if somebody says that, feel free to smack them. You are not bending and straightening your leg, right? You keep that knee ever so slightly bent so it's almost straight. And then you're lengthening a contracted hamstring and glute. And then of course you recontract your hamstring and glute. 10 total alternating stiff legged deadlifts. Stationary or lunges. Remember you're pushing yourself back. Push yourself back. Push. 10 total alternating reps. Get that blood flowing, maybe a smidge of heart rate, right? We shouldn't be too huffy puffy. This isn't the hardest thing in the world, but non-stop repetitive motion will get your heart rate up. Getting those joints ready to go, getting those muscles turned on, that's why we're doing it. 10 total alternating lateral lunges. Step, load, push. Step, load, push. Yes, there is a flexibility component. I just don't want you to intentionally stretch the non-moving leg. It'll do it on its own. Shake it off, easy breezy. You're gonna have your scissors, runners, and swimmers. Pretty, pretty, please. Ready, set, go. 10 scissors, leg straight. Arm strength, body, breathing, working. Monday morning, let's get it turned on June 1st. Maybe after June, right, we'll be halfway through 2020. Maybe we can actually have a year. <laughs> 10 slow runners, breathe, cross that body. Work, 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 work. And then you're on your swimmers. Again, either laying on your stomach or on your hands and knees. Upper back, middle back, lower back, glutes. Maybe a smidge of hammies and shoulders and triceps. Mobility of spine and hips. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Work, work, work. T, G, I, M. Let's do it. Get your space cleared out. Now, remember, there's always Strength is my, always my intention, right? We have a right side balancing row circuit, which we did on week three, maybe two, right three or two. We're gonna stand on either leg, okay? So I do want you to mix up what leg you're gonna stand on, right? When it's same arm, same leg, that is called unilateral load, right? Or super loading. When it's opposite arm, opposite leg, that is bilateral load. You got one side working and another side working. So stand on either leg, mix them up occasionally, but it's a right side row, 30 down by five. I know you miss me on those. When we get done with our five, we immediately do the left side circuit. Okay, so there's 30. We're gonna do a 10 push, which is your push ups or shoulder press this circuit. Okay, and then we have a leg, and the leg is always 15. So the rhythm is 30, 10, 15, I'm gonna make a change. 25, 10, 15, I'm gonna make a change. 20, 10, 15, I'm gonna make a change, okay? Here we go. Balance on either leg, mix up your legs. Right side row. 
If you need to hold something, hold something. Ready, set, go. 30. In my world, right, two and a half to three second reps, 30 reps, and of course, adding a balance component, this is about a minute and a half of work. So if you do it in way less than that, I'm just gonna make you wait anyways, okay? That's why a lot of you guys are like, Chris, how do you know where I'm at? Like, how do you, how do you know what number I'm on? It's just a rhythm thing. 30 reps with this type of exercise and the intent I want you to have takes about a minute and a half. And that's almost the fastest, right? That means you didn't take a break at all. You didn't switch your legs at all. You had perfect form and good motion. and It was no big deal, right? Now you're gonna get some arms, right? 30 reps, you're clearly gonna get some arms, but I really want you to think about your middle back. Right, remember I'm always gonna do about 60 to 70% with you. Got a huge day today. 30 right side rows, balancing on either leg. And it's hard not to get armsy. I really want that shoulder blade easier said than done. You're pushing this circuit. I do, I do wanna use the word simple. I don't wanna say easy. You can do push-ups or you can do shoulder press Wait, for me, I'd hold that one dumbbell. This first round, I'm gonna do 10 push-ups, okay? 10, it's always 10, and you can either do push-ups or shoulder press, because I want it rhythm, I want simple. I didn't say fast. 10, ready, set, go. Now, we're gonna do this five times, this circuit. The next circuit, you'll have your triceps, right? So this circuit, you can either push with chest or shoulders, and you can totally mix it up but I want it to be simple. I didn't say fast and I didn't say easy, okay? Set one, you're gonna have your 15 regular squats, whether you have no weight or you have some weight. 15 regular squats. Ready, set, go. Whether you can have weight if you want to, right? I'm gonna change your squats, I'm gonna change where the weight is, right? We have five rounds and 15, on our squats. So the number won't change, but the exercise will. 15, squats, hips, booty, eyes, thighs, right? Hips need to move the most. You always wanna turn on your glutes, so there's your booty. Eyes is for your posture, and thighs is referring to it being a leg exercise. Quads, hand me his glutes. 15, all right, breathe, focus. Right side, 25 rows. Yeah, your right side again. That'll be 55 of your 105 right side reps. So do them slow. 25 right side rows, balancing. You'll then do 10 on your push, either chest or shoulders, and then we're gonna have a left hand regular squat, okay? You'll see. 25 right rows. If it's heavy, congratulations, cool. Make sure you slow it down, do it right. If it's light, cool, slow down, do it right. Time under tension, right, is a factor to load. So if you slow it down a little bit, you're gonna feel it a lot of it. And that's the idea. 25 reps, balancing right side rows. It's only five less than earlier, okay? The first two rounds are fairly invasive on the back. It's gonna get more invasive on the legs soon. 10 on your push. I'm gonna keep doing chest for push-ups, right? Push-ups for chest. You can do push-ups for chest or you can shoulder press. I want smooth, I want it to be kind of a rhythm breaker, okay? I didn't say easy, it's always 10, no big deal, working hard. All right, when you get to your legs, and I'm not saying you, can, you should be there, right? Everybody has different weights. The weight is in your left hand, why? Because we have a right arm exercise. 
The weight is either down in the middle on your regular squat or it's up, racked up on your shoulders, regular squat. 15, ready, set, go. There's that weight distribution, whether it's up on your shoulder or it's down in the middle, but the weight is in your left hand. Posture, I'm not tilting, right? That's why I'm staying square to you. You shouldn't see, see my body shift, right? Hips, booty, eyes, thighs, 15 regular squats. The weight is in your left hand, 15. And remember, I'm only doing 60 to 70% with you, so don't start and stop with me, right? Do things slow. Be mindful, be thorough. Oh yeah. Now I don't really want us huffy puffy. Okay, I really want the load. Round three, 20 on your right side row, 10 on your push, and then we're gonna go wide squats with that weight in your left hand. Slow down that row, right? I want intention, balance, focus, breathe, right? Feel that load on your leg, because you're loaded, you're balanced, you're focused, and then of course it's a middle back exercise. It's not supposed to be a bicep curl, it's a middle back one arm row. But your arm really wants to help out. And you'll have done 75 of your 105 reps after this round. So the first couple rounds are very invasive. Take your time. When you do get done, do your 10 push, because I want rhythm, and then we're gonna do a different but similar leg. Don't go fast, you guys. Don't stop doing what you're doing just to keep up, right? That's why I always loiter and talk. Again, I don't want a super huffy puffy. I don't want us loaded and working. When you're ready, the weight is in your left hand. Wide squats. Believe it or not, I actually do want the weight down versus up. It's a little bit better on your body, and you actually have to work harder when that weight is down to keep the posture, right? It's kind of unsafe when it's up on your shoulder, kinda, but your body actually has to work harder to stay tall and square, and it pulls you down more, right? When the weight is up, your body will tighten up, and you actually will lose the motion of a wide squat. Hips, booty, eyes, thighs, 15, wide, squats, breathe, focus. Ah, yeah. You guys feel it today? The focus, the power, and the attention on this thing? Whew. Whew. Big deep breath, you guys, big deep breath. We have different weights to choose and, and can use, right? You have different settings that you're working out in. When you are ready, round four, it's not our last round. 15 right side rows, 10 on your push, and then we'll do our narrow squats the same way. As you can see, I have one dumbbell. You don't need a bunch of things. If you have light dumbbells, try to hold both. Don't drop them on your toes. It don't feel so good. Breathe, balance, load, focus, power, intention. Get it. Get it. And breathe. And breathe. And breathe. I think I'm so focused today because I love you, my clients. I love you all. But the, uh, the learning curve of getting everybody on the schedule this weekend was interesting. So I, <laughs> I didn't talk to anybody. <laughs> 10 on your push. Let's go. One, two, three. What's cool though, there's a lot of good focus. So people are really focused, ready to get back in. We just gotta use our tools. 
narrow squats. Again, it's actually better for you if that weight is down, especially if it's heavy. The weight is outside. Your feet don't have to be, nor should they be touching, but your feet are inside your hips, right? There's that posture, right? You're not seeing me shift. I'm not shifting away from the weight, right? I'm not letting my body get pulled. You can hold it up if it's lighter. Again, it's kind of unsafe if it's up top. However, you would work more core if that weight is up top. But if you get too heavy, you definitely want the weight down. And your body really has to work on that narrow squat when that weight is down to stay square, right? The weight is up, you're gonna lose a little bit of motion, but you would engage more core. So it's kind of a catch-22 on that one. 15 narrow squats. Remember, I didn't want Huffy Puffy. I'm not looking for Huffy Puffy. I'm looking for some good balancing back rows. Round five is the last round with your combos. When we get to the next round, we have the last right row and the first left row. When you're ready, 10 on your right row. Last 10 of your chest or shoulders. I mean, you're willing, to, you're able to repeat them if you want next circuit, but I was gonna do some triceps. So it was a minimal pushing day because we're gonna do the opposite of this workout on Wednesday. You guys should know that by now. 10 right rows. Last 10 of these pushes, unless you really want to repeat them later on. And we're going to have our stiff legged deadlifts, RDLs, if you want to call them that. Oh, I am sweating today. I don't, run, I don't want to be hoppy puffy. I'm sweating. Left hand has the weight. Okay, I do want you to see this. We're gonna do both feet, right? Both legs, stiff legged. I want the weight in the middle. Don't cross over, right? It's safer when we do single leg, stiff legged. And of course, if it's heavy, cool. I want that weight in the middle. But did I shift my body? No, I didn't tilt or shift, right? 15 stiff legged deadlifts. Hips, right? Booty, eyes. Yeah, you can still say thighs. Hamstrings, glutes, core, posture. Remember, if the weight's light, you're in a safer spot. When the weight's heavy, you have to engage more. Hips, booty, eyes, thighs. You're staying square, as square as possible. But that weight is in the middle. So don't shift too much. Hips, booty, eyes, thighs, core, breathe, posture on your 15 stiff legged deadlifts. Remember, they're not straight-legged deadlifts. Your knees are ever so slightly bent. You lengthen a contracted muscle, okay? Core, posture, breathe, focus. Take a big, deep breath. I wanna make sure everybody's kinda close. It's your last round, five right, then do 30 left. We've done that, we've done that before, five right, 30 left, and I'll give you the new push, and we're gonna repeat the legs with the right hand when we get to them. Five right rows, your 105th right side balancing row. Congratulations. Then you'll switch, I didn't say go fast, just do the other side. Left side balancing rows. We are starting the next circuit. We've done that in the gym before. We have transition rounds. Are they magical? No. I just want to make sure these core balancing exercises get done without anything interrupting them. Are we doing 30 left or 25? Five right, 30 left. 30? We're starting circuit two. You know the whole spiel I just gave? <laughs> Five right, should be done. 30 left, we are starting our next circuit. It'll sound so dang similar. Remember, 30 reps, two and a half to three second reps. We probably should round up 
because we're balancing, right? You're focused. So that's about a minute and a half of work on the 30 left side rows. And don't do them faster because you've already done the right side and you know what's coming. Take a big deep breath and make sure everybody's somewhat close, 30. When you get to your push, if you wanna keep doing push-ups and shoulder press, so be it. We will have single arm chest shoulders on Wednesday. So triceps, you've got kickbacks, you've got overheads, and you've got dips. Always 10 triceps, like you had your always 10 earlier. 10 on your triceps. You can do overheads, you can do kickbacks, you can do dips. Always 10, just like earlier. Oh, I like it. I like it. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good. I've actually been feeling good for a long time. Can't deny that, right, Mom? You saw me last week. I've been feeling pretty, pretty good. Ain't no denying that. 15 regular squats. We did it earlier. Why? I just want to repeat what we did, right? Make sure everything's turned on, right? Hips, booty, eyes, thighs. If you want to hold weight, you can, right? If you want to be balanced on this one, cool. We will do the right hand the rest of the way, right? So it was just a 15 regular squat, balanced. And again, I probably could have held my weight if I wanted to. I get to do a couple more of these today. Hips, booty, eyes, thighs, posture, breathe, focus. Always 10, sorry, always 15 on your legs like earlier. Always 10 on our pushing. I gotta figure out a way to cheat these for notifications. <laughs> All right, round two. Now, remember the first two rounds is more than half of all the pulling. So take your time. 25 left side balancing rows, 10 on your push, and then the weight is in your right hand on your regular squats, right? If you don't feel the difference of your right balancing and left balancing and right pulling and left pulling, then you are a machine. I really struggle when I get to my left side pulling in general, and then I add the super loading and the bilateral motion, right? Like I'm way better on the left left than the right left, but when I do my right pull, I'm good on both. So you should feel a difference on the ability to balance and to handle the load, right? 25 left rows. Again, between round one and round two, that is 55 of your 105 reps. Those take a while. You have your always 10 push, and preferably this circuit, it's triceps. However, if you want to repeat what you did earlier, cool. It's just a rhythm, right? Like, it's no big deal. I know it's 100 total pushes today, but it's not that hard. So rhythmically, I hope you know what's coming on Wednesday. We have the opposite style, right? And I am really sweaty today. <laughs> when you are ready, you're on your 15 regular squats. The weight is in your right hand, either up or down in the middle. Remember on regular squats versus wide and narrow, you're in a, you're in a safe position on both. You do get a lot more core when you have the weight up on your body. But that's also why you're in an unsafe position on the other squats, right? Hips, booty, eyes, thighs. Look in front of you, right? Don't let your body get tilted or shifted or pulled, right? Stay as square as possible. On regular squats, you're in a safer position to have the weight either up or down. When you do get to the wide and narrow, if you have heavy weight, you're in a safer position when it's down. And in some ways, it's almost even better for you. All right, shake it off. Feel free to get started on round three if you want to. But I wanna make sure everybody 
is somewhat close together. This was not meant to be huffy puffy, however, there's a lot of work. Round three, left side row 20, 10 on your push, and then we're gonna have those wide squats with the weight in your left hand, chilling. Part of this equation, and probably the biggest part of this equation, is the weight that you are using today. It's okay if it has to be light. Cool, slow it down. Your workout space, right? Your balance, your ability to focus is the other part of this equation, right? We're balancing, we're loading. So if you can't focus because of the environment you're in, right? If you have stuff going on around you, you're gonna lose balance more. 20 left rows, 10 on your pushing, preferably triceps, and then we'll have our 15 wide squats with a weight in your right hand, and again, preferably down in the middle. If it's light, it can be up. However, the risk reward and the benefits don't really outweigh the risks on these ones. Wide squats, right hand, weight is in the middle. Don't lose what your squat is. Hips, booty, eyes, thighs. Hips, booty, eyes, thighs. Core, posture, breathe, focus. 15. Breathe. Focus. Work. And work. T G I M. It's Monday. It's June 1st. We're going to get after today. Turn off the news channel for today. It's all still going to be there. I'm sorry to say it's all still going to be there. Turn it off and get after today. Have a great week. I'm not saying ignore the problems by any means. Just turn it off and get after today. If you are there, I want you on round four, 15, left pulling, right? You're balancing, you're loaded, you're focused. 15, okay, then you're gonna have your 10 push. Then we're gonna have our narrow squats. Please take your time. It's a loaded, heavy, unilateral, bilateral day, right? We've added balance, coordination, load, same arm, same leg is unilateral or super loading. Opposite arm, opposite leg is bilateral or cross balance loading, right? There's focus and I, trust me, your muscles are working differently between the two. Your balanced muscles, your loaded muscles. You got your 10 on your triceps, kickbacks, dips or overheads. Your weight is in your right hand and again preferably down on your narrow squats. You do get more core when the weight is up. So if the weight is light, feel free to put the weight up. If the weight is heavy, I do prefer it down. Your body works harder to stay square when the weight is down. Your core turns on more when the weight is up. So by nature, you would lose a little bit of motion. So there's, both can be good. And if you have heavy weight, the weight is down. Your body really has to work to stay square. When the weight is up, you get more core engagement, which could limit the motion a little bit. 15 narrow squats. And remember the rhythm of the squat. Hips, booty, eyes, thighs, core, posture, breathe. If you are ready for round five, feel free to get started. However, I wanna make sure everybody is somewhat close together. This is one of those workouts Everybody can literally be in a different round. <laughs> 10 left rows. Your last 10 triceps. Your last of these legs today. We have a finishing circuit that you're gonna love. Actually, probably not, but breathe. 
focus, work. Ten left rows, ten on your triceps. We'll have our stiff legged deadlifts with a weight in your right hand. When you do your stiff leggeds, right? It's RDLs, Romanian deadlifts, stiff leggeds, uh, SLDLs. I always say stiff leggeds because of the smoother version of RDLs. RDLs has more power, right? You create more power, and so you need to have the weight associated. If you create power with a light weight, you're actually gonna hurt yourself. So I've always said stiff leggeds. I've never been the biggest fan of RDLs. I love kettlebell swings. I love all the squats you guys do. I love all the leg presses, hips, a lot of them, glutes, a lot of them, posture, core, stay square with that weight in your right hand, right? Don't shift too much. It's not a stretching exercise, but it's a lengthening exercise. You lengthen a contracted muscle. That's an eccentric contraction and that's the greatest force you can put on a muscle. Ah, interesting. When you get there, do your five left rows, clean up your space for your finisher. Today's finisher is wall sits and abs. Wednesday's finisher will be planks and legs. So there actually is a difference, okay? Five on your left row, get your space ready for wall sits and abs, okay? Wednesday will be planks and legs. So it's a smidge different, right? It's a magical change, right, Malia? Magic, we have created magic. Oh my goodness gracious. Anybody having fun yet? Oh, perfect timing, holy smokes. So we have a six minute circuit now. It might be a hair longer because of the time in between. One minute wall sit, I'm gonna change them, regular, wide, narrow, and if you wanna mix in calves, again, you're gonna see it, you can get up on your toes. It can either be an isometric calf, you stay on your toes, or you can do a concentric calves, you can do calf raises. Anyhow, three different one minute wall sits, and we have our three different one minute abs, okay? You know me, right? But the little change in between probably makes it a seven-ish minute circuit, okay? One minute, Regular wall sits. Now, if you want to do calves, you are up on your toes. You either stay up on your toes for an isometric, or you can do concentric where you move them. But you need to keep your butt against the wall. Ready, set, go. So, there's your isometric calf, right? You keep your calves up, right? Oh my gosh, cramp. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my. Right? You can do concentric calves where you are moving slowly, but you gotta keep your butt against the wall. Or you can keep your heels off the ground, stay up on your toes for an isometric calf. So both can happen. You don't have to do them. It's just a way to get calves and your quads and your glutes and your core. I say glutes. Core, abs tight, back flat. Think about your glutes, right? Pretend you had LTs last night and you're feeling a little gassy. I didn't have LTs. I had the Costco's enchilada, right? So you get this big, huge pan for me. That's three meals, right? Go back to our Friday conversation, Talking Rain. And you guys saw the recording, right? Portion control, right? We talk about meal planning. Three, two, one, and breathe. And breathe. Woo, remember, we're not in a hurry. All right, one minute and I want upper body abs. You can do sit-ups and or toe touches. I didn't say 100 reps, a minute of them. Ready, set, go. You can mix it up between sit-ups, any leg, any feet position, or you have your legs up toe touches. I didn't say a million reps. In fact, 60 seconds is really only 20 reps. Right, two and a half to three second reps. There's your pace on a two and a half to three second rep. You're only gonna get about 20. And I'm gonna breathe.
20 seconds. You love that sound? You're gonna have wide wall sits. Take your time, don't run to the wall. Wide stance wall sits. Just be wider than what you did earlier. If you wanna work on your calves, get up on your toes. One minute wide wall sits. Ready, set, go. Now, we're not super wide, I'm wider, right? My knees and my toes have the same angle. Right, I can see my toes a little bit. My feet aren't underneath my knees too much. Pretty much 90 degree at my ankles, unless you're doing calves, your knees, your hips. Abs tight, back flat. Take yourself to your happy place. And I, and I love you, and I'm very happy, and I love being here. However, my happy place, uh, there's a pool close by, and there's a bucket of Modelo close by, and my beans, my little beans are running around close by. That's my happy place. Right. Those two little munchkins are so fun. They love traveling. They love their airplane. They love the little suitcases they carry through the airport. Two, one, and relax. See, isn't this fun? We're almost done, you guys. It's fun. Hip motion abs. Uh, reverse crunches or V-ups this circuit because the last round you can choose scissors, runners, or swimmers. So either V-ups, everything is moving, or reverse crunches. Ready, set, go. Now I didn't say I want 100 reps. Right? I want a minute of them. Non-stop, consistent motion. You're only looking to be about 20 I mean, maybe 25 reps, right? Not the intent to do a lot. Intent is to do them right and to not stop. It's funny, whenever we're being on the timer, most people do more reps by accident, right? They try to get more in. I just want you to not stop, but I want you to do it right. Your hips are the conduit for your abs working. So hip motion abs. Your legs are always gonna move. However, your abs are moving your legs. And breathe. Look at that. One more to go. Narrow wall sit. Your feet and knees are touching versus a squat. Right? So I do want your feet, knees touching because you're not moving, so you're safer. One minute wall sit, last wall sit. Ready, set, go. Now I do want your feet, knees touching, okay? Gentlemen, it might be harder to touch your knees. Right, ladies, that's your joke for the day. However, it doesn't feel the best for us. Wham, okay? And if you wanna be up on your toes, cool, keep your butt against the wall. Okay, so it's a 90 degree angle, your hip, knee, and ankle, but if you're up on your toes, you're not on a 90 degree angle anymore. Keep your butt against the wall. Last wall sit of the day. Easy breezy. And ladies, that's really our only problem, right? You ladies have to deal with so much more. We just really can't do narrow stance things very much. That's about it. Sorry guys, I would love to say we have more problems, but we don't. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and breathe. All right, you guys, last minute of the day. We nailed this thing perfectly, just like usual. You can do scissors slowly, runners slowly, or swimmers. If you really wanna do Russian twists or windshield wipers, you can. Alternating reps, they have some rotation and they have some uh, mobility. One minute, ready, set, go. Not looking for a million reps. Do them right and just don't stop. Your last 
minute of the day. We had our 140 rep warm-up circuits. Why are we done that for? Your each circuit had 105 each side rows. We had 100 total pushes, but those should have been pretty simple and smooth, right? You only had 150 total legs, but we worked in some weight distribution, right? We had a core with your cross balance, your unilateral, bilateral motion, right? And your legs, you engage your core subtly, and you have a nice little wall sit ab finish. Six minutes, so. Really, a little bit of everything. Maybe the load of the pulling was the hardest thing. That was a good one. You guys like that one? <laughs> I did. Take your time, you guys, right? If you're gonna beat your body up, put it back together. Drink your water, right? Get your electrolytes in your body, right? Noon tablets, a Gatorade, whatever has electrolytes, right? Uh, water in, water out. Eat well, go get your 20 to 30 grams of protein in your body. Your body will recover faster. That means you can do this again easier. Okay, happy Monday, happy third. Thank you, Jenna Marie.